Today, people living with type 2 diabetes represent the fastest growing disease on earth. Diabetes, it's a whole organ system disease. Type 2 diabetes, unfortunately, is a disease that's out of control. The cost on the healthcare systems of every nation is phenomenal because of what it takes to treat. We have a number of treatment options for type 2 diabetes. Unfortunately, none of them address the underlying cause. Currently, all the existing treatments really focus on um, segments of the disease, but not the underlying cause, which is insulin resistance. There is need for something else, and something else that hits a different target, which is what POTAS does. POTAS is a microcyclic molecule that reboots back your system to healthy glucose utilization in your adipose tissue. The PATAS mechanism asked on adipose tissue, which is the main culprit, the main driver of insulin resistance. You don't see it and you don't measure it and it's just silent. Uh, PATAS development came on the background of trying to understand the reason for extreme insulin resistance in a syndromic obesity called Allostrom syndrome. This cohort of patients, they are insulin resistant at birth because of the, the genetic defect on ALMS1 protein. So we targeted that ALMS1 protein to actually develop PATAS to make them insulin sensitive. PATAS is treating insulin resistance by rebooting your system back to glucose utilization. In doing so, the adipose tissue, which is our target, will release healthy lipids to the rest of your body, controlling your liver, your muscle, including your pancreas, to reboot back your whole system to healthy status. The TAS is a game changer for the treatment of type 2 diabetes because it treats the root cause of type 2 diabetes, which is insulin resistance. PATAS is a couple of months away from entering clinical phase in the U.S. We are gearing up with a whole team to get PATAS in the clinic by the end of the year. We've done studies in uh, various animal models to look for a safety signal um, on a dose response study, maximum tolerated dose study, and then a good laboratory practice study in the rat and uh, now in the dog and um, so far the product appears to have an excellent safety margin. We're consolidating the data now, writing up uh, the various reports to uh, prepare to submit them to the FDA. It's very, very important uh, that if we want to correct the multiple problems that are present in a diabetic, that we correct the underlying pathophysiology. And in the most general terms, there are two problems. You either don't make enough insulin and we have good drugs for that, or you don't respond to the insulin, insulin resistance. And there's where we have the deficiency. So clearly, uh, we, we need drugs that will uh, overcome the insulin resistance. And in this area, I think uh, Adipo Pharma has a, an enormous role uh, to play uh, as we move forward uh, with PATAS. The interesting aspect of PATAS and the global pharmaceutical industry is going to be the profound effect when you have a drug that's indicated for insulin resistance and how it's going to fit in to just about every individual that has the disease. The other products that are associated with the disease have their place and there will be times when people are on multiple drugs but to be able to deal with the underlying cause of the disease to, to affect uh, that lipid dysfunction that occurs in type 2 diabetes will be a very strong piece of the overall global approach to the disease. My hope for Adipo Pharma is to be successful with PATAS, to bring it to the market, and to treat people suffering from type 2 diabetes throughout the world.
Thanks for watching, but now an important disclaimer. The content of this video is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Viewers should not disregard or delay in obtaining medical advice for any medical condition they may have and should seek the assistance of their healthcare professionals for any such conditions.